September 14th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Titus Chapter 2 from the New Testament But as for you, communicate the behavior that goes with sound teaching. Older men are to be temperate, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Older women, likewise, are to exhibit behavior fitting for those who are holy, not slandering, not slaves to excessive drinking, but teaching what is good. In this way, they will train the younger women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, pure, fulfilling their duties at home, kind, being subject to their own husbands, so that the message of God may not be discredited. Encourage younger men, likewise, to be self-controlled, showing yourself to be an example of good works in every way. In your teaching, show integrity, dignity, and a sound message that cannot be criticized, so that any opponent will be at a loss, because he has nothing evil to say about us. Slaves are to be subject to their own masters in everything, to do what is wanted and not talk back, not pilfering, but showing all good faith, in order to bring credit to the teaching of God, our Savior, in everything. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all people. It trains us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. As we wait for the happy fulfillment of our hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to set us free from every kind of lawlessness and to purify for himself a people who are truly his, who are eager to do good. So communicate these things with a sort of exhortation or rebuke that carries full authority. Don't let anyone look down on you. God, we no longer have, uh, hopefully for the most part, slaves, but... I find that part interesting. Slaves are to be subject to their masters and everything, to do what is wanted and not talk back, not pilfering, but showing all good faith in order to bring credit to the teaching of God, our Savior, and everything. And again, I'm not uh, a slave like uh, was predominant back then. But I think about being a slave to a variety of things, including sometimes we're slaves to... The dark areas of our life you know something bad happens and even though we look to you god and we have your word and your promise we still have to go through those emotions whether it's grief or frustration or anger or, or whatever it is that is causing us to be enslaved at that particular time and i think it's it's interesting where it says showing all good faith in order to bring credit to you god in order to give you glory we are to have faith in those times that even if we feel like we are oppressed and persecuted enslaved uh, maybe in depression or frustration at work or in a bad relationship, they, we are still supposed to have good faith, meaning faith strong enough that it will still glorify you, God, in the midst of our sadness or anger or frustration, that we are still glorifying you, that we're not bringing anything against your name as being in the situation. You know, too often we get into situations and we start acting out. We start acting out in not righteous anger, um, maybe jealousy, maybe uh, violent frustration, uh, maybe severe depression, all these different things. But you say, no, not of the world. I want you to be of good faith, meaning the faith that you were already in before you were enslaved. And I want you to bring glory to my name and how you act. I know it's going to be hard in what you're doing and I still understand you have to go through that grief process but as you go through it remember you are my child I expect you to be an example an example of a, a God glorifying Christian young woman or young man uh, as you go through whatever, whatever the situation is and God I just found that really fascinating I'd read that before and there's quite a few places in the Bible that talk about slaves but I guess I never stopped and realized that we are enslaved by a lot of things. And even through those things, you still call us to be who you made us to be, which are people who worship you and glorify you through our lives. 
In your son's name I pray, amen.